the margin consequences. So, the execs talked about how National Amusement should merge with Warner Brothers, but, but I know what the consequences would be. Constant write-offs. Or maybe uh, cancellations of Star Trek. But since this company is trying its best to, let's just say, hold on, since it achieved box office last year. Here, the merge has its consequences. Oh yeah, especially when I'm showing you you these DVDs, the recent version, which is uh, Clint Eastwood 50. Anniversary collection, in which he's he's already old, and the Beverly Hill Cops. <clears throat> when companies merge, it immediately gets detected by FTC. So, <clears throat> so Nick. Executives said no. Warner's not ready, although it's still on the table. But this is just a Warner Media shield. Instead of a stretched um, War shield from this year. And last year we opened with, uh, let's just say, Wonka. Yeah. My question is, do they really want to own Have Gun Will Travel, one of the 50s cowboy show? Well, they're already late. They will not merge, but it's still on the table. Ah, for Mickey Mouse. Allow me to show you the sketch I made. See that? That's from Fallout. Break. That is what a film came in public domain. Steamboat Willie, Plain Crazy, and Galping Gaucho. Silent, because sound won't come out until next year. Especially his gloves, because he didn't have gloves until 28. Eight. Yeah. So I have a public domain short I might mention to you. It's like pull it on the shelf. Bristol Changel from this uh, DVD I currently have. Yeah. Yeah. This label is public domain. So, Mickey. He, although the modern version is in public domain because of the forties design and the colorized version of this. I might get back into Ford one day and beat the living crap out of the master. <laughs> <laughs>